Hello, welcome to our Summer Essential Showcase. Today I'm going to be going over each of these items that I believe are essential to having a successful summer that is relaxing and full of adventure. So please just relax as we dive in and discuss each of these items and why they should be a part of your essential summer case. So to begin with, let's start with the most important. Now, we know that sunscreen or sun lotion is quite important. And today I have chosen three different items to show you. Now, these items are ones that are not spray. We do not apply them to the body through a spray. These are used with your hands. So these are an actual cream. And it's quite important to have a variety. And of course, we want the minimum SPF to be 30. Anything higher than 30 is just fine, as SPF becomes most effective at 30. So something like an SPF 100 is not necessarily more effective than an SPF 50. So for today, I have chosen this one by Copper Tone, and this is a 50 SPF, water resistant. I have chosen the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch, and this is an SPF 55. And I've decided to include this because this is quite important if you are out and about traveling and adventuring in the hot sun. Having a sunscreen that is packaged in this type of way is very convenient it's small enough to fit into your backpack or your purse. And the way that you apply it is directly onto the skin using the stick provided. Now this is by Banana Boat and this is an SPF 50. This is the Simply Protect Baby. Now we know that any of us can use an SPF whether it is designated for babies or not. It simply means that it uses less harsh ingredients. So that's quite all right with me and I'm sure it's quite all right for you. So this one is quite nice. You just leave it in your purse, your travel bag, whatever, and you can reapply it as needed. Okay? So now that we've talked about sunscreen being the essential for any sunny weather, and in that case, any weather uh, period, even when it's a cloudy day, we tend to get more sun exposure because we feel that, oh, it's cloudy and we don't need to apply sunscreen. But that is not true. In fact, we need to imply, apply sunscreen every single day. So as we transition over, let's talk a little bit about these products here. Now, after a long day in the sun, we know that we would love to have some moisturizing, some soothing product applied to the skin post sun exposure. So for today, I have included two different types of aloe vera. This first type is by Fruit of the Earth Aloe Vera. This is 100% and this one here has the lidocaine, which is an external um, pain reliever. And this is quite nice if you keep in your refrigerator, because then when you apply it, it has even more of a cooling sensation to the skin. Now, I know that during the summer, you're out and about and cannot always put it directly into the refrigerator and that's okay. This is still very effective even when not refrigerated. And this product really helps restore moisture. It gives you relief to sunburns, cuts and scrapes, and even insect bites. Speaking of insect bites, let's take a look at some other very important summer essentials. Now here I have two different products. These are both by the brand called Off and these are bug sprays. It is so important that we make sure that those pesky mosquitoes do not get near us during the summer. 
Now this one here is the Smooth and Dry Family Care line. And this one here is the Active line. So that really means that this one is sweat resistant. And both of them protect from the West Nile virus. Both of these are just as effective. I'm sure it does not matter, really. And it's quite important that we apply these products regularly when we're sitting outside where we might be fresh pickings for some very hungry mosquitoes. So whether it be your camping, you're hiking, or you're simply sitting out barbecuing in your backyard, bug spray is quite important to have in the summertime. Okay, and while we're still talking about body care in that way, let me show you these little items here. I wanted to include um, this quick item here. This is a protectant for your hair. So in the summertime, especially when we are at the beach, we really want to protect our color-treated hair from the very harmful UV rays because sun exposure and exposure to seawater, the salt water in the ocean, can really uh, discolor our hair. So in order to protect it, there are many products created that really give you that fade resistant. They really work to protect your color treated hair. Now this one here by OGX, the orchid oil is amazing. It smells wonderful. It comes in a very convenient size for you to put in your beach bag, to take with you in your suitcase if you are going on vacation, or to simply use it at home. Great product. Okay. And just like our hair, we want to make sure our face is protected, which is why we have the sunscreen. We also might want to include some hydrating mist that we reapply throughout the day. It can be quite hot in the summer and sometimes in some summer climates, it might be quite drying. So we want to make sure that we have a product that we can spray directly to the skin to give us that moisture back, to give us that very dewy feeling that might be uh, escaping us as we adventure around in the summertime. Now here we have the Derma E Hydrating Mist with Hyaluronic Acid. Highly recommend this if you should uh, be looking for something to apply to your face to keep it nice and moist. Now, last in this area, we have a wonderful summer perfume. This one that I have chosen for today's showcase is by Jimmy Choo, and this is the Blossom Scent. So this is very floral, very light and airy, a wonderful feminine scent for summertime. And as we know, perfumes can be used among all people, no matter who you are. It all just depends on if you like the smell or not. Okay? And going on that way, of course, we need some sunglasses. As you can see, the ones I have chosen today are a bit bigger frames, a little bit oversized, with a slight cat eye coming out on each end. Now, these ones are very inexpensive, and you can find some of these very similarly in higher end ranges, lower end ranges, and it's really just your personal preference if you would like to spend a lot of money on your sunglasses, or sometimes you might feel it's not worth it because you lose them in the ocean or in the swimming pool or out on the lake. It's really just your preference. These are my favorite and I thought I would include them to show you. Okay, now we're going to be transitioning into some of the summer apparel essentials. Before we do so, I of course want to mention water. Do not forget, during summertime we sweat a lot more, which means we are much more likely to become dehydrated, especially if we partake in drinking alcoholic beverages or highly uh, sugar beverages with lots of sugar. Same idea. We really want to make sure that we stay hydrated throughout our day and throughout our vacation, so always having fresh water on you is quite important. 
important. Personally, using refillable water bottles is ideal. However, if you are abroad in a country or in a city that does not have um, healthy tap water that's treated appropriately, then of course purchasing bottled water from the supermarket is just fine as well. Otherwise, make sure you are drinking at least 32 ounces each day. Hopefully you can double that, especially if you are drinking and spending a lot of time in the sun. It's very important to stay hydrated. Okay, so let's move on to hats. Now I've included two different hats. Here we have a very traditional trucker hat. As you can see, it has some breathable space, which is really nice for those hot days, especially those of us with long hair that might make us feel a lot more heated. This one is by a brand called Big Truck, and you can see it's in an olive green color. So you can either have a hat like that, wearing your hair in a ponytail or a bun in the back or down, however you'd like. Um, However, if you take a look back here, we've got this wonderful sun hat right here. Now this hat has much more of a wider brim. It securely fastens under the face just like that. So if you are out in the ocean, on the lake, or in the river, walking around and exploring, this will make sure to, so that the, uh, this makes sure that the hat does not fly off of your head. I like this hat because it's very lightweight. I love the wide brim, so my entire face is shaded. It's very important to me that my face is not directly in the sun for long periods of time. And it has a nice fastener here. It may not be the most trendy or fashionable piece of headwear, but I'm quite all right with that. Okay, so that takes us over here. Let's take a look at some summer reading. Now we know that each summer it's so fun to read some literature that we may not get to during the other seasons due to our occupation or being very busy. But when we're on vacation and we're lying on the beach or on the riverbed or in the boat or just relaxing at home, having a good book is so important. Sometimes it's even fun to choose a book that you would not otherwise choose yourself. So reading a genre that maybe you don't normally read is something exciting. Reading something lighthearted and interesting or adventurous is also very fulfilling. And that really just adds another level of escapism to your already escapism vacation if you are traveling somewhere exciting or exotic. So this one here is by Sadie Smith. This is called Swing Time. And the size of this book is quite convenient, can easily fit into your beach bag, into your purse or your suitcase, or your carry-on onto the airplane. Wonderful. I'm gonna place this book over here as we move on to some footwear. Now for today's session, I have only included two different types of footwear. And of course, anybody can wear any of the items that I have chosen. It is all personal preference. And today we're gonna to start by looking at two different types. Now to begin with, we have a very traditional and very comfortable typical flip-flop. So as you can see, we've got just the very thin piece here. This one in today is in red. We've got some cushion here, so that's very nice if you are spending some time walking around and exploring, but also going to the beach for a little while and then walking into town for lunch or dinner. These are very, very comfortable, very convenient, and they're um, actually very easy to fit into your beach bag if you need to change into your carry-on as well or even a larger size purse. We have very sturdy straps here with this going right in between the big toe and the second toe. So these are quite nice, quite comfortable and very convenient. 
Now, if you're looking for something a little bit more sporty, or perhaps you're going to be adventuring all day long on foot in a very hot climate, something like this might be a little bit more efficient for you. These ones here are by the brand Merrill, and these are some strappy sandals that allow your feet to breathe, but also have a lot of uh, wonderful comfortable shaping to the bottom and back here as well a nice cushion these are also an olive green so this color does um, go with pretty much a lot of things we've got some good gripping here on the bottom so lots of adventuring on foot uh, uh, whether you are walking through towns or cobblestone streets or maybe even doing a little nature path walking these are just fine for that type of experience okay so it's really personal taste and it's also about what you're going to be doing and how your footwear should suit the activities that you're engaging in Alrighty, so now we're transitioning over to some bathing suits. I have several different bathing suits to show you. To begin with, we have this bikini here. Now this is a strapless bikini. It does fasten here in the back, double strap for extra support, okay? We have that and then of course the typical bikini bottoms here with this print, very cute, very timeless as well. So we have that bikini and you can see that these, it pulls from that there in the top. Now this may not be sufficient for larger chested women, um, it, you know, that does have the underwire, however, this style is very particular for certain body types. Otherwise, and my personal favorite, is just the traditional sleek and sexy black one piece. Now this one piece that I have showcased today does have a choker around the neck. It has some detailing in the back and it has a um, dropping uh, neckline as well. But the wonderful thing about this suit is that it does not over show too much cleavage so it's very sexy very sleek but also tasteful and appropriate in a variety of settings whether you're with family or out with just friends so this is my personal favorite and of course uh over our bathing suits it's sometimes nice to have items as a cover-up now, I've included a several different cover-ups to show you. The first cover-up is like this, so we have a very lightweight cotton material. This is not cotton, yes it is. Uh, cotton material, 100% cotton, with some very cute detailing up top right there. This is very lightweight. It is long sleeve, or about quarter sleeve, with some flowy sleeves. Now, this can be a little bit warm in really hot climates, so you would wear this somewhere where maybe in the evening it tends to get a little bit cooler, and you wanna wear something over it, that's just fine. Um, now, if you're in very hot climates, I would recommend something else, which I will show you in a moment. This one goes just a little bit above the knee there. So something like that is very nice, very, um, you know, any body type, any shape, size, and height can wear something like that. Now, if you are in warmer climates where you maybe won't want something like that, can always wear something like this. Now this is a bathing suit cover-up that is a um, strapless and you could even wear this out to dinner afterwards or to lunch with your bathing suit. It does have some lace and floral detailing there. It is this beautiful vibrant color and as you can see it cinches at the waist and it does go down just a little bit to above the knee. This is very, um, you could even wear this normally without a bathing suit. It's a very nice summer dress. If you come back from the ocean or the pool and you take a shower and it's still quite warm out, you can just throw this on with some strappy sandals and be ready for the night. Additionally, something like a sarong might be quite nice as well. 
A good thing about a sarong is that you could double use this as laying on the beach, like a blanket or a towel. This can be used to uh, lay on like that. It could be used to help you dry off, or it can be wrapped around the body as a bathing suit cover-up. And there are many different styles that we can wrap this around our body. Sarongs are very inexpensive and they're very handy to take with you if you are out traveling around and you have a backpack and you know you might encounter some water throughout your day and you're wearing your bathing suit under your clothes. Um, having a sarong on you is really nice because it can help dry you off. You can wear it and not put your clothes back on afterwards. It also can help shield you from the sun if you need to wear it around your head or anything like that. Or even wear it as a scarf if it gets a little bit chillier in the evening. So there's that print of that sarong and then I have this additional print back here which I'll let you see from afar. Now this one is pink and a little bit more limiting than this black one. I prefer this one because, um, well, I like the colors better. I think it's uh, more versatile and um, rather than that pink one. However, each one, each person has their own taste. So Last but not least, I wanted to include some other type of swimwear for those of us who do not prefer to wear traditional bathing suits. Now here I have a top that is designed for men, though any of us can wear this. Now this top here is SPF 50. So this is a shirt that's very protecting. This particular brand is Volcom. And it's quite nice if you're laying out in the river all day or at the lake and you're going in and out from under the umbrella into the sun. Wearing a shirt like this is very nice to protect your skin. Or if you're out on the boat or something like that where you're spending a lot of time in the sun, it's very important to protect ourselves. So I wanted to include this. And then of course, other than traditional bathing suits, we have these board shorts or swim trunks. Now these particular ones tie at the waist with some Velcro. Um, now there's no Velcro on this one, just tying. These are also by Volcom. And as you can see, these are very stretchy, very comfortable and lightweight. These particular shorts do hang below the knee, though there are many products that are designed to go above the knee. It's just your personal taste of what you're comfortable in. And these are very comfortable for all of us should we feel the need to not wear a bathing suit. Some of us are a little bit more conservative and it's quite nice to have these options as well. So, I hope that you got some good information from this Summer Essential Showcase. And I wanted to include one last thing. This is a very lightweight scarf, and I think that even though it's summertime, it's still very nice to have something to wear in the evening because in some climates, as I have mentioned, it gets a little bit chillier in the evening and not chilly enough that we need a jacket or a sweater, but having a very lightweight scarf would be quite nice just to wrap around as needed. Also, if we are in a car with open windows or a convertible, or perhaps we're on a scooter or a moped, having something like this to wrap around our face or our neck is very nice as well as we go adventuring and sightseeing. Okay, so I hope that this has provided you with some wonderful things to think about and consider as you endeavor through your summer season. I hope that you have found something you like and I look forward to working with you again in the future. Thank you so much and bye-bye.